What's up, YouTube? It's not an awesome one, and welcome to the awesome one's birthday or huge birthday pickups. In this video, I will be showing everything I got for my birthday, which was Monday, July 8, 2013. And the only reason I didn't make this yesterday is because I knew I was gonna get stuff when I went to SmackDown. It was a great taping. Uh, I kind of I started booing at Del Rio as he was walking off. I'm gonna show you a picture. And he actually spit at me, sadly. That was kind of messed up by him. Whatever, you know what, I got him later. Uh, here's where I was sitting, basically. Like, obviously I was close to that SSH, you know, where Curse Axel came off. I was close by the stage, so... That was just an Instagram video, so yeah, that's um I was at SmackDown, so actually I'm gonna show you what I got there first. Uh first I got the new 2013 W program. Still in line for about 30 minutes to get this and a new shirt. And then I was kinda disappointed because when you go through it, it's kinda like it's actually some of the same stuff. Then like a couple new pictures like Darren Bryan's uh like Ordens and Rocks and it's kinda the same. The only real difference is like John Cena's because the shirt. I think Mick Foley has his own page in this book. Um, what else is different? Uh, they took out Kelly Kelly. They put in these two have their own pages. Caitlyn and Tamina. Same kind of stuff. Same stuff you've seen in 2013 program. I mean 2012. Uh, the Shield. Uh, I talked to Roman Reigns. I see it's coming off. Uh. I think he weighed. I'm not, I'm not sure. But, um, and then the shirt I got was Haters Wanted, The Miz, The Old Ones. The Old Ones are starting to like me now, or like me. So, yeah. Uh, I was about to get the Dan Bryan Respect the Beard, but I don't know. The Miz is kind of more, you know, more like me. Uh, first, I'm going to show you well, this little thing. Little diesel thing. Got some cards. And picked up that while I was in there. I'm gonna show you the loose figures I got. If you watch DCW World War Three, then you probably saw saw them. Um, basic 29 Big Show. Um, basic 29 CM Punk, but I put it on this head. I put it on the WrestleMania 28 version. But here's the other CM Punk heads just switched. So yeah, and then Elite 21 Randy Orton. I would have kept him in the box, but um, for uh, my DCW SummerSlam. So next, I'm gonna show you um, the Mattel figures that I picked up that are in the, still in the box. Uh, WrestleMania Heritage, HBK Shawn Michaels, uh, Kmart Exclusive World Champions, Kofi Kingston, um, Basic Thirty, Daniel Bryan. I was really surprised to see that one. I forgot that Basic. 30 was already out oh in stores and then basic 24 AJ I was just in the in Walmart and I saw it for my birthday I, I asked for um, money to talk about my own stuff and that's what I got uh, next I'm gonna show you oh yeah two little rumblers I, that I got a rumble rampage John Cena and rumbler rampage Kofi Kingston because it was only like five dollars so why not okay this thing also. Dollar General John Cena. Uh, next, TNA figures. Got um, Deluxe Series 9, Austin Aries. And also Deluxe Series 9, Magnus. Ma main Event Mafia. Felt sorry for um, Austin Aries when he lost it. Um, I forgot what it's called. X something. Crap. X Division title. Next, I got a whole bunch of vintage figures. So, first, got this Psycho Sid. Um, you know, just old school stuff. Heroes of Wrestling. So, I'm not going to open that. I got it from the store. It only cost me $8. But, um, those things are really rare. You can't, you don't really see them anymore. It's kind of dusty. It kind of got wiped it off. Not like dusty dusty, but you know what I mean. Um, 
WrestleMania Titantron Series 2, X-Pac. And same thing, Series 2, The Big Show, When He Had Hair. Uh, I got one classic superstars, and that was Mr. Big John Stud. Um, Royal Rumble winner, you know. Yeah, everyone knows basically what he's done. So, other people in the series. I must. I kind of want to start collecting these now, but you know, I will as soon as I find them in other stores. Uh, his favorite quote: "I'm the real giant." Okay, then I got Flexums, Eddie Guerrero. Yeah. Uh. Next to DVDs, because I got a lot of them. No, that's not it. Um, I'm just going to go in order. Got TNA, Turning Point. Let's see Kevin Nash. We got AJ Styles. We got Christian. I don't know. I for, like, I know your name. I forgot I forgot his name. I, forgot, I don't know. Man, I can't remember that. Nothing. Then we got Samoa Joe. Now we have... Final Resolution, we have Christian, we have Abyss, and we have Sting on the cover. We have No no Surrender with Bobby Lashley on the cover. Uh, one DVD I got that's not actually wrestling related, but has a wrestler in it, was Snitch. Starring The Rock. Uh, next, I'm going to show you my other ones I got. I didn't open this. Uh, with Stacey Keebler on the cover. You know, she just broke up with uh, George Clooney. Or whatever, however you say his last name. So, yeah. Let's call it. Viva La Divas. Yep. Next. Uh, SummerSlam 2007, I think. Yeah, 2007. Sorry. I was really looking for 2008. I honestly thought that was 2008 for a minute. And then I realized that, um, sorry. I just realized that it wasn't. But either way, I don't care. Uh, I think y'all are have seen this before. I think I just grabbed, grabbed it off my shelf on accident. Um, next, Royal Rumble 2011, the biggest Royal Rumble in history. I had to get it because, like, Drew McIntyre and R-Truth are on the cover. You don't really see that that often. So, and Kofi Kingston is on the cover. So, I had to get it. Next up. It only cost $5 anyway. Um, my favorite WrestleMania of all time. Some probably don't think the same. But WrestleMania 26. Right, WrestleMania 26. We all know the matches that happened there. You know, HBK's last final, or final match. Mm -hmm. Oh, I forget that. Uh, Batista versus John Cena is actually my favorite WrestleMania match. Um, Chris Jericho versus Edge. It was a good match, whatever. And then it was Bret Hart versus Mr. McMahon, which I felt if they were both still young, it would have been even better. But they are two quite older fellows. Got the Andre the Giant DVD, including some of his, um, his, great ma his greatest matches. So, yeah, rest in peace, Andre the Giant. Uh, next up, Undertaker 15 to 0, because it came in one of those um, double pack things. Like, if you buy, like, those little things at Kmart, it's like two DVDs for like $10. I forgot what was the other one that came with it. Okay, I have it over there. So, Undertaker 15 and 0. Uh, I'm going to get the, the streak video eventually. But, I could have got it, but I kind of want this other one. Uh, Undertaker Dead and Alive double feature. Undertaker, he, he buries them alive. Undertaker, deadliest matches. And here's the back. Here's the cover with the Undertaker. Next up, this Triple H DVD. I honestly thought this is like one of those life story DVDs, but I just remember that that's not supposed to come out until like September or October. I think it's September though. So then when you lift it up, it's like that. It includes some of Triple H's greatest matches. So I'm just gonna stick that back on. Get this little piece of crap back on here. Bear with me. Alright. There. 
Sorry. Um, next up, I got four three disc DVDs. Got this la um ladder match DVD, the ladder match DVD three three disc set featuring Shawn Michaels, Edge, the Hardys, the Hardy Boys, or whatever. Triple H, The Rock, Chris Benoit. Rest in peace, even though you killed people. Uh, Brett Hitman Hart, A. Grill, rest in peace. Uh, RVD, Chris Jericho, and more. Next up, Satan's Prison, which came with that Undertaker DVD. The 15 and 0 Undertaker DVD. If you bought this together, it gets you that for um, $10 at Kmart, so go buy it. If you already have this, who cares? Buy it. I mean, you get that if you don't have it already. Then, same thing with Triple H DVD. If you. Where'd it go? Okay. Uh, if you bought this, it came with this DVD, the Attitude Era. So, I was not stupid to pay 20 I wasn't. I wasn't one of the people who paid twenty dollars for this DVD. I knew. I knew eventually I'd find a good deal for this. Boys wanted this DVD, so now I have it, and with with a convenient price. But this ten dollars. I really recommend if you don't. If you don't have the Triple H DVD and you already have this, go ahead out and just buy it. It's only ten dollars. I mean, you could always just like give it to a friend, birthday present, free giveaway. I'll enter. Uh, whatever, anything. Next up, actually, I'm almost done. I have some stuff behind me. The oh, last one I paid twenty dollars for, which, I mean, I really wanted this, so it's kind of why I risk paying twenty dollars instead of just waiting. But um, I was gonna get the War Games um, DVD. They had like one left, and I went to go grab that Magnus figure because the first one I had of Magnus, the box was all messed up, so I went back to go ahead and grab it. That came back, the War Games DVD was gone. But also, I still won this DVD, so I got it. The best of In Your House of WWF. Or, you know, their logo is WAV. Then it shows the side with um, In Your House matches. With, um, Diesel versus Shawn Michaels. Stone Cold and Kane. A whole bunch of stuff. I mean, if you already have it, then you know what I'm talking about. I haven't watched any. There's a lot of DVDs I have that I pretty much have not watched, but I'm going to Texas next week, so I need something to do, so I'm going to watch that. Uh, on airplane, I'm going to watch that, so yep. Uh, last things I have that I got for my birthday. Also, I got this really cool watch, which I don't have to show you. I left it somewhere else, which I don't remember, actually. But, um, Yeah. Oh, and I got a fifty dollars iTunes card, so yeah, I'm videotaping on the iPad right now, so I can buy stuff. All right, last stuff. Uh, WCW Bruisers. They had three of them. It's uh, Raven. And the two WCW trash cans. Got uh, Worth. I don't know how you pronounce his name correctly. A stop sign and the uh, um. Well, I forgot. I forgot what it. I forgot what it's called, but, um, yeah. Last thing, I have Sting with s Steel Frame action. So, yeah. Uh, these are really cool stuff. And then, one of my favorites is Batista, because Batista's one of my favorite guys. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, Ruthless Degression Series. I just got this from one of those little retail stores, so... Um, most of that stuff only cost me about like four or five dollars. Like that A Guerrero Flex and cost me about three bucks, so I didn't mind paying because I mean they're good figures. They're still in good condition. I mean, it's not as bad like paying six dollars for this at Dollar General when you could pay like three dollars for like an old school vintage figure. Not not vintage or old school, but you know what I mean. Like older figure that people actually like. So I paying six bucks for this. But I will collect the rest of them soon next time I go to a dollar general okay uh, that is pretty much it because now I'm starting to ramble and I hate that I know y'all hate that 99 awesome one out thank you for watching thank you for the people that wish me happy birthday you and the people that are late and said yesterday and wow door just came on on my TV I'm gonna change that but um oh god I can't watch this all right whatever
So thank you for watching Nyan also. Now, if I look tired, it's because I'm doing this this morning. I just came back from SmackDown. And I'm seriously tired. I was at the gym all day before. So I'm really, really tired. So I will see you all next video. Nine also went out. I think I said that again. And I'm about to play myself out. And if you saw me at um, SmackDown, which I know a lot of people did, you should have said something. I mean, there was one guy on Twitter that said he saw me, but he didn't want to say anything. But whatever. Nine and also went out. I will see you all later. Awesome! I came to the